What's the difference between SAP IDIS and BBP? That's a question we get a lot on our chat line, so I thought I'll put this video together and explain it a little better. IDIS stands for Internet Demo and Evaluation System, IDES, and SAP created this way back in 95, uh, so it's really, really old actually, and they created it for the R3 release, again, super old release, it was then also available for the next release version, ECC. And it's really just a big database of configuration settings for all of the standard core SAP modules. And it also includes a ton of sample data. So um, customers and vendors and transactions, purchase orders, invoices, payments, um, all that is part of IDIS and that's um, that's a great database to have because then you can log into an SAP system and you can start playing and practicing around with all the data that's there. So the idea behind IDIS is great. Um, the problem is IDIS does not exist anymore for the new release S4 HANA. It doesn't exist, it was replaced. And it was replaced with something called BBP, Business Best Practices. Now the idea behind BBP is the same thing as IDIS, right? It's the same basic configuration for all the standard modules, and it also includes sample transactions, sample master data, but the data set is much, much smaller than IDIS. And I'll log into our SAP system and I'll show you the difference in just a second. Uh, one thing to note or to uh, remember is IDIS included configuration and data for a bunch of different countries and company codes. So it included data for the US, the UK, Germany, France, and so on. Um, now in BBP, that's not the case. There's different separate packages, BBP packages by country. So there's one for the US, there's one for Germany, there's one for Spain, and so on. Um, again, the, the thing to remember is BBP replaced IDIS with S4 HANA. Now let's log into SAP and take a look at this. Here we are logged into our ECC6 system. This is Enhancement Pack 8 on the HANA database. And this system has IDIS installed. So let me just run transaction FD03 display customer. Um, and let's take a look at something here. So Let's take a look at the company codes. How many companies actually exist in this system? And you'll see on this pop-up, it says 227 company codes were found. Now, most of these are SAP standard IDIS company codes. Not all of them. I see some of them that were created by our students. But if you, if you ever see this best run, best run Germany, best run Singapore, and so on, then you'll know these are the standard delivered IDIS company codes, for example, 1000 was always the company code for Germany, 2000 is always the company code for the UK. If you scroll down, you'll see 3000 is the company code for the US. Um, so you see over 200 company codes exist as part of the IDIS database. Now let's go into company 3000 and let's find out how many customers exist. And on this pop-up, let me resize it, you'll see it says more than 500 input options found. Let me increase the limit from 500 to 5,000, let's say. And let's see what it finds. And you see it says more than 5,000 options found. So there's over 5,000 customers in this system. Uh, again, most of these are standard IDIS customers that I can now choose and, and play around with and, and use for practice. Okay, so over 200 companies, thousands of customers, there's also thousands of vendors, thousands of transactions, invoices, payments, purchase orders, and so on. So this is all part of that standard IDIS database. Now let's compare this to S4 HANA. Let me switch over. Now I'm in our S4 HANA system. This is release 1809. I'm going to do the same transaction, FD03, display customer. This, the screens look a little different, obviously, a little more uh, modern. 
So let's do the same search. I'm going to search for company codes. Let's see what we find. And let me resize as it says 39 entries found. So not 200 plus company codes. There's only 39. And, and actually, we're looking at the list here. I see most of these have been created by our students. So only a few of them are actually part of the BBP. For example, this one here, 1710. This is the new standard company code for the US. And IDIS, it was called 3000. Now it's called 1710. So yeah, you see there's only a few dozen company codes in here as opposed to over 200 with IDIS. Now let's take the 1710 and find out how many customers do we have in this system. Let me resize this and it says 25 entries found. So most of these are the standard customers included in BBP. Maybe some of them have been created by our students. Um, but yeah, you'll see the difference, right? There's not thousands of customers in there. There's only, you know, two dozen basically. But SAP realized that, well, you don't need thousands of customers and thousands of vendors in the system to just play around and practice. You just need a few. So that's why they reduced the size of the data set uh, significantly. Um, so yeah, that explains the difference between IDIS and BBP. I hope this made sense to you. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please click on the little like button at the bottom.